Do you have a moment that changed the direction in your life? <laughs> I have so many moments that mm. did that. <laughs> I feel like my, the direct, my direction in life is constantly changing. But I mean, I often think about what it would have been like if we hadn't left England. <clears throat> like who would I be? Because I think I would be a very different person. Mm -hmm. I think you would be too. <clears throat> like you would have sent me to girls high school. <laughs> <laughs> Does it make a difference to you if I am your son or your daughter? No, absolutely not. You becoming trans was very difficult um, because it's a complete change of everything. You know, your name, to me, as you, the child, becomes a different child completely at first. And it took me about a year um, t or two to get over it. What's been the hardest thing for you that I didn't see or understand? I mean, nothing that we haven't figured out. I think it was hard for you when I didn't want you to transition. Yeah, but you didn't. It was hard for me when you didn't want me to transition, yeah. But we worked it out, mm -hmm. you know. I think I could have very happily known fully what my identity was and lived fully in the body and gender that I had. But it was like every day, you know, people just, ma'am, sir, ma are you in the right bathroom? You know, mm -hmm. that, that, that lady in the bathroom and <clears throat> the movie theater, like these kinds of things where it was like people reacted so negatively to m me just being exactly as I was. Mm. that it started to take a toll on my mental health, you know? Yeah, it was hard, but it wasn't hard because you did anything wrong, mm. you know? You were afraid, <clears throat> but you got over it, and you took it upon yourself to get over it, which is like yeah. the big, I didn't have, have to a choice. <laughs> you did, Mom. Well, that's true, but you, I... You gotta know, like, you could have cut ties with me. You could have cut, like, intimate ties with me. Right? You could have never thrown me out of your house, but you could have just decided that we just didn't understand each other and we're mm -hmm. never going to be able to handle it. Like if my transition was the hardest thing we ever dealt with, great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I don't mind being out about it at all. It's just other people don't really understand. And so I'm cautious about who I tell about it. I wait until I get to know them, you know, just because people you know, don't understand the humanity of it all, you know. What mistakes do you see me making that you have also made? <laughs> what would you advise me to do? Um, Self-doubt, I think. I should have been tougher with you about a lot of things because I think that would actually ironically have given you a greater sense of self-confidence whereas I didn't force you to confront a lot of things mm -hmm. and I think I should have done that but since you were my only child I was practicing on you you know so <laughs> why do you love me no tell me the ways <laughs> Let me count the ways. <laughs> I love you because you took such good care of me and you take such good care of me. You always do, you've never stopped. Sometimes I'm like, damn it, I'm a 35 year old man. Like, <laughs> like you know, it's all right. I love it though, it's sweet, you know? It's always been the same really like tender, sweet, loving, care that I've got from you and I'm just like so lucky you know really and I love that you're so open with me I love that you taught me how to talk about my feelings you know and you've made great decisions 
and you've given, you know, and the biggest decision that you've always made is to love me, no matter what, always. Always, always, mm -hmm. you've loved me completely. And there's no greater gift that anyone can give another person than that, and it's like so rare. And I'm like, every day I know that, that that's true. So that's really it. Yeah.